Dot Services Limited has constructed several roads in Tanzania, built a reputation of high standards and quality engineering works. The company constructed the Tari Mumbara Road, which connects Mosh to Dar es Salaam City. The project was executed at the time the current president John Pombe Magufuli was the Minister for Transport in President Jakaya Morisho Kikwete's regime. We have done many projects. We have done close to 200 kilometers of bituminous roads in Tanzania. And because the work was of good quality and met international standards, the Tanzanian government awarded DOT services another project to construct a 50-kilometer road in Mutwara, about 50 kilometers from Dar es Salaam. This road is a double surface dressing road with a base course of CRS, crushed stone. CRS is a crushed stone. Sub-base, which is a chemical stabilization, that is cement stabilization. And below you have G15, G7, G3. It's a huge embankment actually all over the road. Mutwara is an old town neighboring the Indian Ocean. This gives the city a serene and beautiful landscape with the ocean serving as its natural geographical border. The city is generally slow, but thrives mainly on seafoods and cashew nuts businesses. This area is also well known for coconut growing. For these businesses to thrive, the locals need good roads for easy transportation of their harvest and catch from the ocean. The Tanzanian government awarded DOT services the contract to widen and construct the 50-kilometer road which begins here. The old road is narrow and full of potholes. The road is the stone-chipped type. It goes all through the stages of construction after the design phase. First, we will start on clearing and grabbing. After that, we will go in next step, it will be removal of top, topsoil. After that, we will have approval from our consultant, then we we'll go on leaping. After leaping, we we'll add the required water. Yeah, we add water because of having optimum moisture content to process a roadbed. Every material used on the road is tasted from the laboratory run by the consultant. This is to ensure that the compaction and the material form a strong layer. The gravel is picked from a far flag area because of the sandy type of soils in the Mutara area. Where the road passes through very low-lying areas with some hills as well as the rolling terrain. So there's a lot of uh, field which you need to do and um, it links to the now, now open the Dangote cement and the Mutwara seaport. The general foreman, engineer Ramadan Muhammad, explains the use of gravel and the steps taken to construct this road. For example, like uh, where we are standing, we have 23 layers to reach on E3 top. And each layer we have to do 250. The next step is G7, which also goes through the same process of adding water and compacting until it meets the required standards as stated in the design document. The same procedure we will dump material as they require. We will spread it and check addition. After that, we put water required. We will process it and compactly have approval. All these are done to make sure that the road doesn't get inundated or you don't do excess fill or less fill. 
for the lost road to last long. Yeah, it all depend, depends on the design and in this design, that's how it is. After spreading G15 and compacting it to the required levels, the next step is adding CM concrete material, which is mixed with cement and lime. Thereafter adding CRS, the next step is prime, which requires sweeping with a blower to remove unwanted particles from the rod. If not removed the coming layer that are fastened, it will not bond that are prime because that are dusty will be taken all the prime. That's why we are sweeping. Bitumen is then spread on the rod and allowed to dry naturally. Later, the chip sprayer will power the chips according to the required amount. That one it is a 13 kg a square meter. Then we we'll back roll it. After chipping, the tire rollers are applied to the surface to ensure that the chip and the bitumen bond. There is a standby team ready to add the chips to the parts the spreader may not have reached. We need to wait for a seven days. After that, we'll sweep again. The road has up to 23 layers in some areas, but there is also reinforced concrete box culverts to ensure good run of flow to keep the road dry. used here are picked from the Dot Services quarry, about 30 kilometers away. At the quarry, the crusher will grind the rocks into different sizes of CRS, later transported and kept at the project camp. In this particular road of Mutwara, the key challenges are with respect to the materials availability. The area is uh, replete with any stone around so we had to we, we, we ship stones from close to 160 kilometers from the uh, from the site because there's no rock available which can which can uh, uh, cater for the requirement of the road that is one of the major challenges the rest of course the normal challenges on the road like water but it's not a distance is there but it's not such a big challenge this new road is expected to be handed over to the Tanzanian government by June 2019, bearing any eventualities.